So only few people turn on the camera. I, it would be great if at least majority of the people could turn on the camera. And that would also help you all to come out of that comfort zone because it's a safe space. I'm you know, going to ask questions or answer my questions. It's just you coming here and listening. And also the feeling of community. I'm talking more about the Vibe Tribe, the community recently. It's because I'm going to learn something for the community, something that is very, very affordable and also where you can access so many things. That details will be given at the end. Firstly, we will do a little bit of healing. It's been so long, so I wanted to. And today's session is going to be very, very simple. We're just going to sit and chant together. The power of chanting, we had, we, I think, as a group inside the Ho'oponopono healing uh, program, we did not do chanting for a long time. When we recently did, we just realized how powerful it is making us feel. And then we thought we really wanted to bring it to the community again. And that's when I was like thinking at least by the month end, I have to do something for the community, at least chanting. And now we are here. So how many of you here are very new to the concept of healing or maybe Ho'oponopono or maybe you just heard about Ho'oponopono a little bit. So many of them are known faces already. You might have heard, uh, attended multiple sessions already. Um, but if you're new, very new, or maybe you just heard about Ho'oponopono, you don't know much about it. You're here to get something. You can put it in the chat, please. Is everyone already um, like you're used to Ho'oponopono? Oh my God, I do not know. How should I take it? I'm new, Abita is uh, attending for the first time. Okay. Just heard about Ho'oponopono. Okay, Akansha, Jenny, I'm new. Okay, nice to see first time attending. Okay, Ria, that's great. We will have a beautiful session. Okay, anybody else? The screen looks so beautiful after so long. Uh, like a lot of people. And the first row is full of faces. Um, again, uh, people who would like to turn on the camera, please try turning on your camera. It would be really uh, powerful. The energy that we exchange inside the healing will be more powerful when you do it with the cameras on when we actually uh, see your faces. Kamil, this is my first session. That's great. Okay. People are joining. Okay, still people are joining. That's still great. Oh. Two more people are joining. It's nice when the numbers are increasing, but we have to start uh, because I know some of you might have uh, postponed your dinner time and sitting here for the session. So firstly, for all the people who are attending this session for the first time, I am a certified open open healer. And I wanted to talk about the Ho'oponopono healing modality here a little bit and then we will start the chanting and then because first day let us take it slow and I will also extend the sessions for two more two more days so you will be uh, experiencing a little more tomorrow and a little more day after tomorrow so this is how it's going to be so firstly um, I guess a few more people are coming and that's kind of a little distracting but I, I hope I will make my point clear while explaining because I just wanted to accept each and everybody. So people uh, who are joined, who joined just now, hi everybody. So I'm just going to give a little bit of introduction about Ho'oponopono. So Ho'oponopono is a very, very old ancient uh, healing modality. It's a very old uh, practice that only people inside Hawaii were doing Ho'oponopono healing modality. And at that time when uh, Ho'oponopono was uh, practiced by the ancient Hawaiian people, this modality was practiced in a totally different way. It was it used to be like a ritual, like uh, how we see, you know, uh, any priest doing a ritual, something like that, sitting in the fire and doing something like that. But um, around the 1990s, 
um, in the Hawaii uh, island, there were so many people who were interested in uh, Ho'oponopono. So Simi she decided she was actually a born healer. She used to heal people like literally. And uh, she, she has having that healing abilities by nature. Uh, and she was, uh, even her touch actually heals people. People used to come just like, I think you all might have heard Bali, just like how Bali is like very beautiful, vibrating place. Hawaii is also a wonderful place that has a wonderful vibration. So people used to visit Hawaii as a, you know, tourist spot and people will come and just in case if someone feels sick, they will go to Simeona and they will, she, from her childhood itself, she start, she does this healing not only Ho'oponopono, she does something with herbs and all of that. And uh, people just realize that she's having some uh, healing, um, natural healing abilities that actually heals her, heals people like literally instantly. So uh, when she grew up, she decided, let me take this Ho'oponopono to the modern world. And she just decided to do it with four simple statements. And this four simple statements she taught to so many people around and people who were interested in the modern ancient, uh, like, which is uh, something totally different from the ancient uh, Ho'oponopono modality. This one, people wanted to take it to the uh, world and they wanted to just uh, heal people and all of that. And then Dr. Hewlin came. So Dr. Hewlin is actually, um, he is actually a therapist and he used to treat people and all of that. So when he actually learned this Ho'oponopono healing modality um, through Simeona, he decided to use this with his patients. So all of his patients, what they do, they will go and, uh, you know, mail him. Uh, it was at the beginning of the internet or something around, around that time. So mail was like very commonly used. People used to mail like, hi, Dr. Hewlin, I'm suffering from so-and-so. And he used to do Ho'oponopono for these patients and like, ritually and he will give them some solutions and people will just use that and they can find a lot of difference in their healing and they used to report him that I am recovering from this and that and all of that so this was like getting a sensei sensation around the Hawaiian island and around that time there was this uh, Hawaiian state mental hospital I hope many of you might have known the story, but for all the new members, I'm just uh, giving the story in a very, um, maybe in, uh, tr we'll try to put it in a short, within two, three minutes, I will try to finish this, but I wanted to bring the same essence. So people who just joined like very recently, and if you're listening to this for the first time, I want all of you to listen carefully. So there was a, a mental hospital in Hawaii. And this mental hospital was not a normal mental hospital, people who were just insane. It was a hospital where all the patients were criminally insane. Criminally insane means people who did crime because they were insane. So criminally insane examples, they raped kids, they killed old people, and they did so many crime, uh, which was not acceptable. and. Because of this, they were actually punished and put inside this uh, mental hospital. This is not a mental hospital. It's a criminally insane hospital. So everyone was like, uh, they were inside a cell. It was kind of a jail. So they were inside a cell and some were handcuffed because they were not sane, right? So they were handcuffed because they would throw things at the staff, like nurse, ward boy, and all of that. So doctors, nurse, ward boy, everybody used to run away from the hospital within one week of their joining. New people were joining, and again, they will run away because they cannot uh, handle the torture that the patients were giving to them because they were criminally insane, and uh, nobody can go near the patients to even to give medicines or injections, and most of them were handcuffed also. And at that time, just imagine the entire building has a lot of negative vibration, uh, negative vibration, uh, because every normal human being who is entering inside is also having lots of fear to go inside and they don't love their work there. They just wanted to run away from this place. And all the patients, they are already criminally insane. So not even one single human being inside that hospital is like 
uh, at peace or they are loving their job uh, to serve the people not even one single person so the entire hospital was having a negative vibration where um, this one it was uh, said in an interview by a staff who worked there during that time even the paints will not stick on the walls so the paints will like come out you might have seen some old buildings where the paint will come out like you can just tear it like a paper and so many plants they planted but even though they watered the plants not even one plant actually grew there no, uh, they did not see any uh, flowers or they did not see any plant actually growing it always gets dry and this this is like some common symptoms because of the negative vibration that complete building so that is when the hospital management decided to invite dr hulen because they were and um, like learning about him that there is this guy who is helping a lot of people through distance so they thought let us invite him and dr hulen he came to the hospital his first day he just asked the staff members to bring all the records of the patients all the patients in the entire hospital and in the entire hospital there were more, close to 200 300 members and like patients and he was reading every single record by record and just imagine someone who is actually like okay i am a healer and i am coming here to help people and i am learning about you and i come to know that you had did the worst crime in the world how my feelings would be like it would be like really really bad right um dr hulen read one case and he got maybe he got angry and because the cases are like this someone killed someone raped and when you when you just read about this you will feel lot of emotions um mostly negative emotions so this is what dr hulen experienced when he was reading he was feeling very uh, pity for the people he was uh, like people who suffered he was feeling very angry towards people who did this crime and what he did was he started healing those negative emotions that he had in himself and then he started working on himself and he did this open open healing he did not visit anybody he did not visit single patient in that hospital and slowly the hospital vibration started changing the thing is the pain started sticking on the wall and the flowers i mean the plants started growing and the flowers started blooming and patients who were handcuffed they were released like they were not handcuffed anymore but they were inside the cell and patients who were taking so many medicines the medicine medicines uh, came down and most importantly this is the most beautiful thing that all the staff members who were usually running up running away from their work after a week they they just quit their job and they were running away but after dr hulen came to the place all the staff members were continuing their work happily because they started seeing a lot of changes and all of these uh, changes were happening and after close to 2 years almost like 280 members close to 280 members were gone like they were completely recovered and they were sent back to their homes back to the society and they all were healed and very few members like close to 20 members or something very few members were there so they were shifted to a nearby mental hospital because they were also almost in their healing state and because of this because the entire in the big hospital very few members patients were there so because of this they were also sent back uh, sent to a different hospital and the entire mental hospital criminal insane hospital was shut down and this story became a trending one during that particular uh, year and all over the world people were like what is this what is this what is hoopunopuno and people were learning about hoopunopuno and that is when dr jovitale he tried connecting with dr hulen and after so many efforts dr jovitale uh, contacted dr hulen if you are wondering who is jovitale jovitale is one of the actors in the secret movie and he is also interested in healing and manifestation law of attraction he talks about all of these things and he uh interviewed and he worked with dr hulen and they both together wrote a book on hoopunopuno and that is how actually hoopunopuno came to the entire world they also started taking sessions workshops on hoopunopuno 
but the book reached the masses. And that is how we are here learning about Ho'oponopono and doing this modern um, advanced Ho'oponopono uh, method everywhere. So that is what we are going to experience and uh, those who are new, you might be wondering what is this Ho'oponopono, what are they like doing inside that? So it is nothing but just four statements. And the four statements are, I am sorry, please forgive me, thank you, and I love you. So these four statements are uh, the magical mantra or the magical prayer, you could say, because these four statements just did so many amazing things in my life, in my community members' life, and everyone's life, those who practiced. And already my tribe members are here, and they all experienced an amazing shift already. Uh, those, who are, uh, those who just attend my free sessions already, you might also have known how effective and powerful it is. And those who are new, we will experience this. We will experience the beginning version, the basic open of a healing today. And what Dr. Hewlin did, back to the story with these four statements. Dr. Hewlin uh, healed the emotions by saying these four statements. He was angry towards a particular person particular patients, uh, patient by seeing the report. And he started healing the anger emotion by saying the statements, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you and I love you. And how this Ho'oponopono modality works is that you take 100% responsibility for whatever that you experience, even though you are not having control towards it. Like a random person, a patient inside that hospital killed another random person or raped another random kid or something. And Dr. Hewland wasn't even aware about these two members unless he actually read the report. Even though he does not have control towards that and he wasn't aware about these people earlier, he still took 100% responsibility for the anger that he had when he read about the report, the case and everything. So he took 100% responsibility for the anger and he healed that anger. So when you take, when you heal that anger from your subconscious mind, then this person who did the crime will start healing. That is how it works. Like you take 100% responsibility, no matter what, even if the situation is out of control, you take 100% responsibility because it's showing in your life. So this is the gist of how open opener works. Even though it is um, like out of your control, you can still uh, do it by taking 100% responsibility. And it is not always like you have to blame yourself. You can also do as a collective uh, responsibility. For example, um, we had this COVID when it was 2020. We all had this COVID. And it was it is not like your responsibility when you experience uh, COVID hitting all over the world. It's a collective responsibility. So you, you have to understand that you need not blame yourself if you attract something negative. You just take responsibility. The beauty of taking responsibility is that if you take responsibility, like 100% responsibility for a problem that's happening in your life or for a problem that you're seeing in your life, you can also take responsibility to change that, to reverse that or to manifest an ideal solution for that. So that is the reason why we all take responsibility. So don't uh, confuse with the uh, responsibility and blaming yourself. So responsibility is different and blaming yourself is completely different. What we do inside Ho'oponopono is we take 100% responsibility. And the statements, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you and I love you, is something that does a lot of magic. Because um, if we can actually put a pyramid of words like, the top first word, the second word, third word, fourth word. If we put, if we rank words, the top first word is love and peace and then gratitude, thank you. And uh, words like sorry and forgiveness also come under that. So all these four words have high vibrational powers in itself. And just imagine when I say I love you to you, you will feel loved and you have a smile. And when I say thank you for small act that you do, like, okay, uh, out of so many people, three of them had turned on their camera and I'm saying thank you to three of you. So you will feel like some kind of encouragement and all of that. So this is actually bringing a positive impact in your life, maybe subconsciously. When I say thank you, immediately people are turning on their camera. I'm so happy to see this. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, so that these 
words actually have a lot of vibration in each word itself and just imagine the combining um, uh, effect of this like you say all these four states statements in one go and not only once you say it continuously and just imagine how it is and this is something like a butterfly effect you say i'm sorry please forgive me thank you and love you now i did not say this with any intention i just told i'm sorry please forgive me thank you and i love you and this could impact somewhere in a different continent or a different country somewhere this would make a movement there just like how you throw a pebble on a still pond and the ripple effect slowly start coming and then after a long time you see that the there is a small wave created and it is hitting your uh, feet something like that you say i'm sorry please forgive me thank you and i love you now somewhere it shows its effect and it will come back to you in a week's time or maybe in a month's time out of nowhere and i also should start with one real life incident that happened today how hope or no no or whatever it is you you think about hope or no no or you think about gratitude practice or you think about manifestation or just the thought you a positive thought that you have towards universe so i am at to post this on my uh, community page or on my personal page um so today i did something great and i did not do something by myself we did as a community so what happened was one of our community members daughter we were actually raising fund for her education so today just like uh, i was just thinking okay let me just uh, send the amount i was going in front of the uh like uh, puja shelf and i was praying i was praying and i did open up no before i sent the amount and immediately after i sent the amount i said arika to just two minutes before i did not check that two minutes before but just two minutes before i had actually received a notification that someone out of nowhere she just checked with me about my one on one session she actually confirmed the session by making the payment and we have another member here who actually received the received more than the amount she had actually sent for contributed for the education so like she got it out of nowhere again like unexpectedly so so many amazing things like this will happen it's the ripple effect that you create and that is what we are going to do right now with the chanting with ho pono pono so i hope you all are ready we will experience this chanting right now but before that if you are very new um you need not uh, set any particular intention if you if you actually don't have any intention you just wanted to sit and do this you will feel really lighter and one more thing if you feel like you are actually struggling with something today like exactly today maybe you are going with uh, going through something maybe you are experiencing so much anger or maybe you're restless or you're having anxiety whatever it is you take one emotion and then you focus on that you take 100% responsibility for that particular emotion and then we will do the chanting and one more important thing a disclaimer uh, when you start cleaning something you will experience you will experience more of that um for example you're cleaning a dirty uh dirty bowl or something okay when you clean it you will see a lot of dirt coming out similarly when you actually work on it, your anxiety you will experience a little more anxiety when you do the chanting and that's totally fine okay and also if you're not setting any intentions and you're going to chant some random memories will start coming maybe your childhood memories or maybe a uh, long back something happened out of nowhere it will start coming it is actually getting released from your subconscious mind you just happily send that memory because it's good when your subconscious mind is free we may not put a lot of memories with emotions inside it right so let's begin so i hope you all are aware about the disclaimer and also with intention or without intention you can choose anything just without intention you just come and chant along with me or you set an intention and then you chant but if you're setting an intention you have to set only one intention that i am going to work on my anxiety today or i am going to work on my anger today just one and if you are wo working on your anger more of anger might come to the surface but that will calm down it is just releasing okay so i hope you all are clear about this and now i will be uh, sharing the music and we will do the chanting together meanwhile if you are setting the space to get ready you can get ready
like if you wanted to drink water because we are going to chant i forgot how many times uh, like to tell how many times we are going to chant we're going to chant for 108 times 108 times is very 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 powerful and this, this was not actually the part of hawaiian ho'oponopono but indian people who learned ho'oponopono because we indians um, we do any chanting for 108 times and that is very very powerful so repeating something will actually rewire your brain and it is not the part of Ho the ancient ho'oponopono or the advanced ho'oponopono that brought from hawaii but Indian people started doing this, but this has its own uh, benefits. So we are going to do it for 108 times. So just drink some water and also sit in a comfortable place. You can move your body a little bit before you start doing. And it is not mandatory that you wanted to sit straight and keep your backbone straight. You can lie down. People who are turned off your camera, you can just lie down. Or you can just lean on no matter what the work or the words that you're going to see, say it will do its work automatically so even if you're getting distracted the work will already happen so you need not worry about that so, and i'm also going to uh, use the 108 uh, times chanting video only so that it will go in a flow and no one will get distracted in the middle so I will use that and it is actually 12 minutes. So we are starting by 9.5 and it will get over by 9.23. Right. Yeah. Okay, I am starting now. Um, just I need someone's help to confirm if the volume is like okay. Um, let me just share it and then someone can just check. Please forgive me. Is this I volume okay? You. I love you. Thank you, everybody. I'm sorry. Little like this is the full volume. Should I reduce? I thank you. I love you. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm you all sorry. can chant along Please with this. Me. You can close thank your eyes you. and you can chant along with this. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. 
I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. 
I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. All of you slowly, gently bring your palms in front of you and rub your palms very well until you feel the warmth and you can slowly bring it to your eyes. Let that energy flow into your body with a deep healing of 108 times chanting that you did. Take a deep breath, inhale and exhale through your mouth. 
relax your body and you can slowly open your eyes and go back to space. Those who wanted to drink water, you can drink your drink water now and then you can come and share your experiences. Hi Swapnil, long time. I hope you're doing good. Okay, I'm also turning on the option to unmute and talk. You can raise your hand if you wanted to talk or should I share something about how did the work happen? Like, did anyone fell? Like, did you feel anything? Anything to share? Any, any different experience today? Yes, Harita. Okay. So actually before this session, I have my grandmother who's uh, uh, like kind of bedridden. So mm -hmm. we are taking care of her. So every night, every morning, we have to just do everything for her in the bed itself. So before the session, I just did that and came. So I was like feeling uh, not anxious, but, you know, some sad kind of irritated kind of feeling like this repeating cycle and all. Mm -hmm. So after this, I really needed this session. So now I feel better. Wow, this is nice. I can totally understand this, how it would feel. Um, even though we love someone so much at one point of time when it is like repeating, I can totally that relate with that. So, that's nice. I hope this helped. I'm so happy. And then Mahima raised her hand. So I think we'll go with Mahima and then Amisha. We will move to Amisha later. Yeah, Mahima. Yeah. Hi, Sri. How are you? Long time. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I hope you're doing good. Yeah, all well. So uh, I have a question basically. Mm -hmm. so these four phrases like what is the significance like what are we saying thank you for like uh, what exactly it is so we are doing this to the divine um, so in hope like when you when you're into this law of attraction or manifestation we know that there is this universe and universe um, like listens to us and everything so in hope we call it as divine so it is all the su same supreme power that we believe in it could be um, even in religious aspects but here it is just called the divine so when what we are doing is the divine has the control over everything so we have this anxiety or this anger uh, in our subconscious mind and that is what is showing up in our life in different forms maybe this anger could be triggered by your brother by your mother or father or mm -hmm. your friend it could be anything but basically the anger is there and that is the reason why it is showing up in different forms so what we do is we take 100 percent responsibility because this anger is there in my subconscious mind and that is why it's showing up in someone like in different forms in the outside so, world so to the divine i'm requesting so it is my responsibility to clear this so please forgive me because somewhere i had attracted this anger so it is it's there inside me so i'm sorry for that please forgive me and thank you and i love you we are saying this to the divine so the divine will clear this when we do it repeatedly so the divine will do the clearing automatically so for some it might take it might happen instantly for some it might take longer time based on how deep rooted that anger or the fear or that anxiety is in your subconscious mind Correct. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I think uh, this question might have helped so many people. It might have given so much clarity to so many people. Thank you for this question, Mahima. Thank you. Um, Thank you. And next we will go to Amisha. Yes. Hello. Hi. Hello, everyone. So, uh, uh... I, I was not sure that I'll attend this session. Oh. But la last time I attended to a session, and okay. I don't remember, but uh, it helped me a lot. It was like, uh, mm -hmm. I'm very, I'm a very naughty kind of person. Like, not naughty in that. Like, I'm not, I'm like, I overthink a lot. Things go okay. in my mind. Like, it does not stop. Okay. But uh, it, like, the peace I feel after your session, like, I appreciate you for that. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. Yes. And I had no intention, but uh, things started flashing in front of my eyes. Mm -hmm. 
uh, whatever I have done, maybe even a small chunk, I have uh, caused hurt to somebody. So okay. everybody started uh, uh, coming, flashing to my mm-hmm. mind. It was a very good session. Also, I have a question. Uh, uh, can we not do it in our own language? Like, why only English? Like, yeah, we can do it in your own language. But this was brought to the world with these four statements in English. And nowadays, I think I am seeing people who are doing it in Hindi, then in different, like, religious, religion, based on wherever they are, they are doing that, that regional languages people are doing. I also saw somewhere that people were actually asking for uh, help uh, if anyone could translate a whole script to uh, like open a, open a script to that particular regional language. So it, it will definitely help for people who cannot, uh, you know, understand uh, English Actually, or something in, like that. Not about understanding, not just yeah. about understanding. But yes, yes, you, it will feel connected. Your own, yes, you connect more. Also, yeah. could you please share the uh, music right now we did? Yes, or yes, I will put it in the group. Music. Yeah, yes, sure. Please. Yes, please. Thank you so much. That's nice. Yeah, thank you. Nice. I feel, I, it pacified me. <laughs> That's very nice. I'm really uh, glad that you're here and that helped you. This is beautiful. And okay, we are we are having people joining just now. Okay. Um. Okay. So, is there anyone else who wanted to share or talk? Those who wanted to share but you're not feeling comfortable in front of the camera, please put it in the chat. Akansha has posted just remembered most of the records I had of okay. I was very much anxious throughout the day. Now I feel lighter. Yes, it will definitely. This one, if there is one emotion that I actually healed in the past three years, ever since I practiced open up, it is my anxiety. I used to get anxiety like anything. Like at that time I was working and I was also doing my business and also this coaching. Um, so I was, uh, uh, I was working in, uh, marketing with a marketing team in an, in a SaaS company. So I used to write copies and all of that, add copies, blogs and all of that. So that anxiety will start coming even when I sleep all of a sudden in the middle of the day, I wake up because I might have sent my blog for a review to the manager. And that, those thoughts will be coming in the middle of the night. Like what, how, what if he doesn't like the content? What if the content m- might have so many edits tomorrow morning when I wake up? So all of these things will start coming. It will be rushing with anxiety. And I wake up and I used to gulp water like anything in the middle of the night, half liter bottle or one liter bottle. I will just gulp and I'll sleep. I remember those days were like really painful for me. And that is how anxious I was. And for example, like I also, I was running a skincare brand and if I did not send the product on time, I will not even sleep because of this anxiety. So maybe someone ordered and I told that I will send tomorrow, but tomorrow I was like, I'm not able to send because something is not available or something. I will not sleep. I will have this anxiety again. So, so many times this, this anxiety has actually uh, made my sleep cycle worse. And uh, fast forward now, very, very rarely I could say, when was the last time I felt anxious? I don't remember. <laughs> now, I don't even feel anxious like touch wood. It all was because of Ho'oponopono. Um, and very rarely I feel anxious, like very rarely. And when I feel anxious, I will instantly chant. And I will go back to the space where I wanted to sit. And then I will chant and I will do the healing. And it will just calm down so anxiety people who are having so much anxiety this would be the best uh modality to heal so yes then ashrai yeah please yeah it's been long that i attended i remember i did a course of like five day session with you we did a course you had the okay and so that time i did this whole one of one it was part of that that course what was it i don't remember okay so we have been in touch. Uh, uh, I've been reading your stories, but uh, especially today, I was feeling a lot more anxious. It may be mm. stupid, but because of news of elections and everything happening, you know. Uh, so okay. Even news sometimes makes you go anxious about some things, you know. True. So I was that was going on in my mind from the morning, and I, okay. now I feel much better. That's nice. That's great. And that's the only reason why I stopped watching news. 
this happened when this covid was happening we used to see a lot of news like these many people died or these many people got affected with covid and all of that it was just bringing so much negativity and anxiety and that's the only reason why i don't share any uh, social news or anything on my stories like even if it's going to be something celeb- like a celebration or like anything that is happening around the world uh which is not connected with healing or manifestation i don't like or kindness i will not share anything so because um this actually it will actually impact the subconscious mind watching news so i can understand how difficult it would be uh maybe you can just uh, stop like distract yourself from watching news uh for a day and see how it is no i don't watch but you know now we are talking about it or something is, it's just <laughs> pops up everywhere so, you're just over it. it yes 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 <laughs> that's so true okay someone has asked what about overthinkers like yeah any emotions you can actually work with hope oh, no, no, no it's not like only anxiety i just uh, connected with anxiety because i was someone who was going through severe anxiety and uh, like i literally felt a panic attack one day in the noon when i was just trying to nap and so i could relate with that so i i was just explaining that but any other emotion anger hatred um anything could be actually addressed with hoponopono and you can definitely feel a lot of relief from that and hoponopono um doesn't see time or uh, anything like age or this particular person or what you did you just surrender to the divine and you do the healing it will definitely work and yeah it depends on like how i answered mahima's thing yeah we have worked on fomo very i think uh, priya's here uh we have been doing this like when it was during the first and second batch i remember priya might have uh, experienced this like so many times we did like literally many times we did fomo and even i have i had fomo when it was the beginning of my uh, like quitting my job and then the transition phase of doing this full time i was having fomo because all of my friends they they were in the it field or something like that so people were getting uh, promotions hikes and all of that and i am just quitting my job trusting this full time and getting inside this so fomo was like a real thing at that time for me and similarly many clients around at that period when i was having fomo they were also uh, asking me to address uh, fomo so we were working on that and we had so much relief from that as well i i remember that so you can actually literally do anything with hope you know but any kind of emotion maybe you cannot even ex- explain what emotion it is you just sit and chant it will definitely uh, subside like you can feel that that emotion has come down and you're feeling better hope or no you know will actually connect you with the divine it will make you to feel at peace so that is the whole thing of hope or no you know just a minute okay uh so that's about it and then uh is there any other questions so i want i also wanted to before people like leave i also wanted to talk about uh, the community offering and then we will go to other questions people are still joining that's so great uh i i actually created a very small poster kind of thing i don't know if that helps but still uh let me just uh, show it to you, all of you and just sharing that um Okay, I think I have to share the screen so that people who are uh, watching this in the recording or something they can see this. So can you all see? Can you see? okay so this is the community offering so this is for everybody who are uh, waiting for something like you just you can just invest a little bit of amount but you can actually access so many things so this does not give you personalized uh, uh, healing or therapy but this would be a community healing where you experience people who love being in a group community to you wanted to feel safe and you wanted to feel seen heard and held and all of that this is for you so this is our community i hope everybody knows the vibe tribe and the community offering that i am doing it's going to be like lifelong um like if this program is going to go lifelong and the program's name is 
let's go home. <laughs> so this is something that I really love. And let's go home is something where you feel like if you're feeling worried, you have this community. If you're feeling something exciting, exciting to share, you have this community. So whatever that you wanted to do, you have this community. So that is why I'm launching this with this beautiful name, Let's Go Home. And this is going to be a subscription based uh, program or like a membership kind of thing where you can subscribe every month. If you don't want to uh, continue this particular month, then you can unsubscribe and you can join the next month so that it will be very easy and beautiful for you where you can access all the uh, recordings and everything for the entire month or you can just come and sit live and do everything. Uh, it is going to be a more of that community feeling where people will come and just uh, encourage you, engage you, and we will have a group. We will have a community. It's not a group, it's a community. So here what happens is that you just subscribe for one month and you will experience all of this, um, all of this and more. So in a month, what these are the things that we will have and these are the things that we, you will have access, plus so many other things which I will be launching once you get inside. In a month, we will have new moon circle. Then full moon circle. I think most of you know all of this. Then we have, we are going to have regular intention setting party every first of that month if not first second of that month um, and then portal session so portal is a powerful session where uh, the month and the date will be the same number for example this month was three so three three is a portal session so three three is a powerful day and next month april four four that four four is a portal session that four four is a powerful day so on new moon you know the energy is very powerful on full moon is also the energy is powerful portal is all portal day is also a powerful day so all these three powerful sessions we will be doing a beautiful ritual uh, where you can actually uh, connect with yourself, do breath work, journaling, releasing, intention setting and all of that. And for every new month, we are going to do intention setting party. We are just going to bring, it is going to be completely informal. You can bring your cup of coffee. Or I think someone is like, can you please stop doing this? Uh, so, yeah. It's just distracting and confusing for me. Uh, sorry for that. Okay, so intentions wedding party is going to be completely informal where you just bring your coffee or hot chocolate or whatever that you wanted to and you can just eat also and we will have a beautiful vibe. This is not something like a meditative, slow and kind of thing. Intention setting party will be like high vibe music where you set intention, where you dance, move your body and do all of that. And then sharing circle. Sharing circle is a very powerful session. And we have just had one sharing circle in the last three months, but it is a very powerful. And once you enter inside the community, I'm planning to do it regularly at least two times in a month. So sharing circle, just imagine. So, uh, last time we did this, I'm giving the same example. Last time we did this for relationships, for people who had just moved out of a toxic relationship or people who are struggling in relationship or something like that. So sharing circle, like-minded people will come and sit and I will obviously host you. You can just keep sharing about what you're going to and no one is going to judge you. No one is going to give you solutions. You just share and people will just be there, listen to you. Maybe you can rant, okay? You can do anything that you want to do. People will be there. People will listen to you. People will make you feel held, seen, heard and do everything. And you will feel so safe in that space. So that is the sharing circle. And sharing circle will have different topics every time. So for example, body shaming. As kids, we might have heard, uh, we might have had this experience of body shaming or maybe um, fellow students bullying us and all of that. So we take one topic and similar like-minded group people will come and we will talk about each other and we, we will, the power of sharing circle is it acts, accelerates the healing process. You will know that you are not alone. You know that people are there who are not at all judging you and you will feel safe. And the next time when you talk about the same thing or next time when you're actually getting bullied or someone is body shaming you, you will not feel the same pain like you had earlier. You will take it in a different way and you start your healing journey by yourself. And we will have a lot of challenges. Um, Self-love challenge is something that we've been doing for a long time, but we will also have a lot of new challenges uh, because in the community, there are a lot of people who are uh, uh, healers, then artists, musicians, singers, and all of that. So people will come and people will take the lead. 
and there are like fitness coaches and all of that for example let's say there is one nutritionist and who has to uh, who is interested to take a challenge and host all of us so we will join the challenge together and obviously you're not going to pay separately for that so we will all begin it could be like water challenge summer is there two liters of water per day something like that we, we will have a beautiful community where everyone uh, encourages each other and it will be a beautiful uh, time together uh, there's like monthly one challenge and then reading community obviously we are going to take the mostly fictional book uh, like non-fictional books so people who are interested in reading we all will uh, connect together and we will make sure that our reading practice is on um, like whatever goal that you had set like maybe one book a month or maybe one book in one quarter whatever it is we make sure that we read and we share about it and the vibe tribe instagram page will also be um, led by you guys people who are interested you can go live there and we are going to take it to a different level altogether so uh, and so many other things are there i have i have planned so many things uh, for the community uh, if you're getting inside the community, you can actually access all of these things just by paying for the members, monthly membership and you can access everything. You can attend it live, you can have access to the recordings and so many other things are going to happen. Any standalone sessions will be standalone. For example, I'm going to host a two-day masterclass. That would be standalone. You cannot have access to it, but you will have exclusive discounts, discounts only for you. Other members will have a different price. For you, it will be a lesser price. So something like that. And normal sessions, you will also be introduced free sessions inside the community. And yeah, uh, this is about it. And more things will be there. Uh, this is starting from April. All right. So, and I also planned the price. So this is going to be one for double nine. If you just think about the each session, new moon circle will cost like 299, full moon circle 299, intention setting, party portal session, everything will be close to 300. Um, but if you're paying it all together just for one membership, like one month membership, it's going to be one for double nine. Uh, this is like people who would like to join and who wanted to pay um, from the month of May because people who are joining today, like if you're just signing up instantly today, you can just pay triple nine or people who wanted to register tomorrow, you have to pay one for double nine. But people who want who are willing to pay today, you can pay triple nine and join the membership. And this is like minimum, you can uh, continue for three months and maximum you can just go for a lifetime or whatever until I keep the this uh, community membership program. So that's about it. And people who have questions to ask now, you can ask your questions. And I hope you all are excited about this or <laughs> I don't know. I did not see so many faces because I was sharing the screen. Um, people, please ask your questions if you have any. Uh, thank you, Ashai. I hope we will we will serve better with this community because it's not Shri anymore. It's going to be the vibe tribe. And obviously, I'm going to have all the group healing programs and all of that separately. One on one sessions are going on, so that is there. But this one is something that I'm going to focus more on from this quarter. So, sure, Ashai, take care, bye. Um, and those who wanted to join or those who wanted to ask any questions, you can ask your questions. And you can also DM me and ask your questions. But even if you don't want to join, don't worry. Tomorrow we will have another Hope and Open a Healing session at the same time at 8.30. But I'm going to do one more those who do not know, there's going to be something different than what we did today. And those who know, we are going to do conversational Ho'oponopono tomorrow. Those who experienced conversational Ho'oponopono already, you know the power of group conversation Ho'oponopono. The vibe is totally different and you will literally feel lighter. People who wanted to heal relationship with your mom, dad, or with your uh, boyfriend, with your partner, with your friend or anything, with your boss, anybody. People who wanted to heal relationship with others, you can join tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. And I will see you soon there. So that's about it. Now I'll stop the recording.